Good day everyone. This is Darvesh Khan, Subject Specialist, English, KP Elementary and Secondary Education Department. Today, I am going to make this video for all those aspirants who want to become lecturers of English in future. Dear fellows, today I am going to share my experiences with all of you that you have to be benefited with yeah, from my lectures. Dear fellows, the very first thing is that the test carries 45% of weightage of the total marks. You have to know one thing that the test is usually taken for lectureship in a very easy way, but you have to know the tactics for that. The very first part of the test is framed in literature. You know very well that in literature, each and every lecture, each and every person who, is, who has been a student of English in masters, he knows about literature very well. But at the same time, there is the importance of language and linguistics too. So the second part of the test that is there in language in linguistics. So in language and linguistics and in literature, what things are included and how is the test taken? In literature, the student or the candidate is tested in this, these following genres. The very first is <clears throat> poetry. What is the second one? In the second one, that is prose. What is the third one? That is drama. And what's the last one? That's novel. I would say to each and every person who is appearing in this exam that he should work on poetry, he should work on drama, and he should work on novel. Now, I don't mean that you have to prepare each and every novel. There are many novels written by Jen. Uh, Jane Austen. So you should not prepare all novels. Just know the names and know about the names that which novel was changed. Yeah, the name of the novel was changed. Now, <clears throat> for example, there is a writer in, who is a novelist. His name is Henry Fielding. Now you must know that Henry Fielding has written these novels one two three four five whatever, whatever so the first novel the name of the novel is given that is for example tom jones so if the name of tom jones is given in an mcqs it is like this tom jones is a novel written by then there is a blank dash now option number a jen Austen. option number b henry fielding option number c Jean Rees, option number D, none of these. You have to choose one. Then <clears throat> in drama, suppose a drama is written. Let's suppose there is a drama, As You Like It, is a play written by, four names are given, you have to choose one. Now then there is a sentence, and that sentence is a statement stated by one character. And that character, for example, uh, Frailty, thy name is woman, stated by, now then there is blink, Hamlet, Claudius, Polonius, none of these. Then suppose there is another sentence that <clears throat> Polonius advised in Hamlet, Dish. Now who? Hamlet, Laites, Ophelia, Claudius. This, these are some general MCQs that I have stated, uh, I have shared with you people. Then in prose, you have to write major writers for all these. Uh, you, you have to study major writers from uh, drama, from novel, from prose. Suppose there is uh, Francis Bacon. So what kind of MCQs would be there? The date and time of Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon was born in Dish. Now 1561, 1562, 1563, 1564. Choose one among these four options. Like this, Charles Lame. What kind of writer is he? Is he a romantic writer? Or is he a classic writer? What kind of writer is he? So you have to choose, uh, in four options, you have to choose one. Then in poetry, let's suppose the, Canter the prologue to the Canterbury Tales is written by now you have to choose how many characters were there in the prologue to the Canterbury Tales, right? Then 
the in pagan literature which of the following was written by an anonymous writer you have to choose one be wolf which said whatever is the option given to you so for poetry for prose for drama for for novel what i share with you you have to buy one book and the name of that book is emporium so you have to buy a book named emporium series it's a book of english literature so you have to prepare english literature mcqs from emporium second thing is about language and linguistics so in language and linguistics you cannot mark something from your own mind without any good concern because this is something very solid language is very solid in nature so if there is an mcq suppose if i say if i dash a doctor i would help you now you have to choose one mcqs was were m none of these you have to choose one so if i were a doctor why the word were is used no it needs a kind of justification so if you know about language if you know about syntax if you know about uh, the grammar very well so for that you have to prepare language mcqs which book should you buy for study that is a book written by raymond murphy and it is such a book which is practical english grammar in use so practical book so the practical english grammar in use is a book written by raymond murphy you have to buy it it's a very it's 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 a book recommended especially for english lectureship the second for linguistics many students from different universities like namal from city university or from from any else university they usually study george yule it's the study of language so they study george yule but i say that those students that who studied george yule it's a very good book but at the same time in order to mark up in the test because it carries the weightage of 45% you have to study john lines as well and the name of the book is introduction to language and linguistics so george yule then there is another book written by john lines so dear fellows this is something that handsome is as handsome does so buy emporium for yourselves at the same time by george yule the study of language i mean that his book and uh, at the same time you have to buy john lyons book language and linguistics thank you so much for watching this video and for the next video to share my experiences of interview inshallah i will make thank you for watching this video